Hey guys, welcome back to JD Mods. I'm doing a quick how-to video today. Um, I was driving around my K20 Z1 swapped Honda Insight and check engine light came on. I uh, didn't really think much of it and when I went to turn on the car the next time, the engine light was off and I finally used my OBD2 scanner. It's a gauge I have I can show you at the end of the video. And I pulled the code P0325 and that is actually the knock sensor. Um, from what I've read, this is a pretty common issue on all K20s, K24s as well. So this applies to any year Acura RSX, um, a lot of early Honda CRVs, um, TSXs as well. Of course, any K20 swapped car, uh, such as my Honda Insight here. And it is the knock sensor, and I'm going to show you how to fix it in today's video. First of all, here is your NOx sensor. It is a single wire sensor that sits under the intake manifold. As you can see, it has no ports for oil, like an oil pressure sensor. Um, this tells the ECU when your motor is pinging. Um, I don't know if on the K-Series engine it actually does anything with timing or anything safety-wise, or maybe it just tells you. Uh, either way, oftentimes it's a broken sensor. If you replace the sensor and the code persists, um, make sure you're using an OEM Honda sensor. Um, I am not on this one. This is a sensor I had laying around um, But I do recommend an OEM Honda sensor and I'm gonna change to that if this one doesn't work um, It can also be due to a loose heat shield. I don't have any loose heat shields in this car But it could be anything metal rattling around uh, Can set off your knock sensor or of course knock itself. So if you replace it with an OEM sensor and the code persists, you might have more issues at hand. Anyway, let me go show you where the sensor is right now. Um, really easy on this swapped car because I only have a half rad with no AC. If you look under the intake manifold, you will see a single wire sensor. It's right in the middle of the screen, right there. Uh, that is the knock sensor. It goes right into the block. So it's just the left of the alternator. Um, the replacement is very simple. We're going to go ahead and unplug that wire and then you were going to take it out using the hex and that is a 24 millimeter hex. So I, because I don't have a rad, I'm just going to use some extensions and just pull it straight out the front. If you did have a full rad, you, you want to jack your car up and go from the bottom. Let's pull out the old sensor. Here's the old sensor on the left with the new sensor on the right. They look pretty much identical, except for some reason the new sensor's stud length is longer. Um, again, this is just one I bought off eBay. I would recommend a Honda one and will probably upgrade to one eventually. Um, but I just had this one in my garage. Uh, pro tip, before you go threading in and torquing down your new torque sensor, or sorry, your new knock sensor, um, go ahead and grab the wire harness and make sure that the plug plugs into your new sensor. Mine does, so I know it is the correct sensor. I say that because there are a few different ones for K20s. I believe the A2 and Z1s take a different one than the other models, but I cannot confirm that. Uh, so now let's go ahead and install the new sensor. Um, I don't know the torque number off the top of my head, but I'm just gonna like hand tighten it and then just snug it up with a ratchet. You can't over tighten these or it will throw off your knock sensor value. So let's go ahead and install it and see if it fixes my code. I've reinstalled the sensor, let's fire it up, make sure I don't have any code right away. So I turned it on and no check engine light. Um, hopefully this fixes the issue. Like I said, if it doesn't, I'm going to try an OEM Honda brand. Or if not, um, it could be a more serious issue with the engine. Um, but that is a different story. So here we are inside the Insight. Um, I, th I promised I would show you guys my gauge. So let's turn my car to on mode. I think my gauge should show up. But this is it here. It's an all tool from Amazon. For some reason it's not turning on right now, but uh, it's a great little gauge to check codes. Um, and that's how I found out my code P0325. The knock sensor needed to be replaced. Uh, there it is, it finally turned on. Right now I also have it set up to my speedometer, my coolant temperature, and my 
voltage, but of course it can show a bunch of stuff. Average speed is useless, but taco RPM. And there's also like an RPM band at the bottom by 1000 RPM increments. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to fix P0325. Um, I don't usually do how-to videos, but I thought it might be helpful for some people. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more cool modified content. Thanks for watching.